flow meters come in many shapes and sizes, with key advantages and disadvantages for each type of technology. For ultrasonic clamp on flow meters, some of the key advantages are low cost of ownership for large lines. They can be installed without shutting down the system. They can be bidirectional and have very large turndown ratios. Ultrasonic flow meters use sensors strategically mounted on a pipe to send and receive ultrasound. Together, these sensors calculate the velocity of the fluid inside the pipe. With velocity and cross-sectional area, you can calculate volume. There are two main types of ultrasonic flow meters, transit time ultrasonics, designed specifically for cleaner liquids, and Doppler ultrasonics, designed for liquids that contain suspended solids. Transit time technology is the most common ultrasonic technology that utilizes transducers for cleaner applications. Also known as time of flight, ultrasonic sound is being sent using pulses in both directions of flow. A popular analogy is to think of a canoeist going from one side of the river to the other. As he goes with the current, he gets to the other side much quicker than if he was to return on the same path. Ultrasound does the exact same thing. What is being measured is the time it takes for the sound transmission in both directions. That differential in time tells us the velocity of the flow. The speed of sound of the pipe material, as well as the liquid, must be measured to compensate for the changes in angle that occur as the result of the acoustic interface between the pipe wall and the fluid. With Doppler ultrasonic technology, two transducers are used as well. Doppler ultrasonic technology, unlike transit time, requires the presence of solids or aeration in the liquid. Two transducers are used, very much like transit time, however one transducer acts as a sender and the other acts as a receiver. An analogy would be a train coming towards you on a track. As the sender ultrasonic frequencies hit the artificial reflectors contained in the fluid, Doppler shifts indicate a velocity difference. Ultrasonic frequencies in the range of 500 kHz to 1 MHz are generated by the flow meter, and transmitted through the pipe wall into the liquid. The part of the flow meter that contacts the pipe is referred to as the transducer. Applications for transit time flow technology are virtually all sonically conductive, single-phase homogeneous liquids, with application Reynolds numbers greater than 4000. Doppler technologies are typically okay for liquids that do not have large amounts of suspended solids or aeration, approximately less than 10-15% to 15 on average. There are many applications in the water, wastewater treatment, HVAC, marine, energy, and oil and gas industries. Some of the most common applications are measuring flow of chilled water for cooling, glycol slash hot water for heating, makeup water, potable water, bulk fuel transfer, gas or diesel, and clean 3A applications. General installation principles. Clamp on ultrasonic meters will have best performance on homogeneous pipe materials. These materials conduct ultrasound more readily and will result in better signal strength applications. In order, from best suited to worst suited, the best pipe materials are, stainless steel, plastic, copper, carbon steel, galvanized, plastic with rubber lining. Pipes with variable densities, or that have fibers or air pockets, can result in poor signal strength, Examples Concrete or concrete lined PVC foam Some fiberglass Composite pipes Certain cast and ductile pipes Note, most FRP pipes are okay. Badger Meter manufactures a variety of ultrasonic flow meters. This video will focus on the TFX Ultra product line. The TFX Ultra provides an accuracy of plus or minus 1% of reading at 1 feet per second or higher. Repeatability of plus or minus 0.5% of reading. Large turndown ratio. 40 to 1 bidirectionally. Automatic speed of sound compensation. Bidirectional measurement to 40 feet per second. Positive, negative, or net totalizer function. The TFX Ultra includes a rugged enclosure, a wide selection of outputs and communications, including Ethernet, it can be configured with keypad or Ultralink software, it supports all transducers, provides a compact integral mount system for pipes 2 inch and smaller, and remote mount systems for pipe sizes 1 half inch and larger. 
There are two main transmitter types with the TFX Ultra. It can be configured as a basic flow meter, and utilized as a transmitter to give you a volumetric reading output. Alternatively, it can be configured as a BTU metering system, which includes transducers for flow, and transducers for temperature, for use as a hydronic heating and cooling system. The TFX Ultra carries hazardous rating certifications of Class 1, Division 2, with options for Class 1, Division 1, through the use of intrinsically safe transducers. The TFX line offers several transducer styles to fit your application requirements. The DTTC and DTTS transducers are designed for small pipe sizes from 1 half inch to 2 inch, and offer temperature measurement options. The DTTR, DTTN and DTTH are designed for 2 inch pipes and larger, and offer temperature, submergibility, as well as intrinsic safety options. Finally, the DTTL transducer is reserved for pipe sizes 24 inches and larger. Transducers come in a wide variety of cable and conduit options to fit your application. For more information on Badger Meter and Dynasonics products, contact Swanson Flow.